Tomorrow, an important day because it's the deadline to register to vote if you want to have a voice in the May primary. A number of local, regional, and statewide offices are on the ballot. RTV6's Katie Hines now tells us about information on races to watch and how you can register. The primary election in Indiana is one month from today, and both Republicans and Democrats are working to bring people to the polls here in Marion County for a number of key local races. Yesterday, we were in every township in the, in the county knocking on doors, candidates going door to door, uh, volunteers going door to door. We work the telephones, um, and we work word of mouth with events in, in any way that we can. Here in uh, Marion County, in support of our uh, Republican slate, uh, there are uh, large efforts to uh, turn out uh, the Republican base. Two of the races to watch in Marion County are for the sheriff's and clerk's offices. Both primaries for the clerk's office are contested. And the rhetoric is already heating up in the race for sheriff, where two Democrats are vying for a spot on the November ballot against a Republican candidate. We certainly believe we have an opportunity in the sheriff's race. Uh, not only do we have an outstanding candidate in Emmett Carney, uh, but uh, the incumbent Democrat sheriff uh, has uh, been uh, ineffective in managing his office. John Layton has been a great sheriff and will continue to be a great sheriff. He's been nationally recognized for his work um, at the jail and, and as the Marion County Sheriff. Candidates for about two dozen of the seats in the State House and Senate face contested primaries, and all nine congressional seats are up for election. Voters in certain parts of the county will pick township trustees. You don't have to be a member of a party to vote in its primary, but you must be registered. You can do so online at indianavoters.com. That's where you can find out more information about what to expect on Election Day and where to cast your ballot. You can also visit any BMV branch or your local county clerk's office. Reporting at the CCB, Katie Hines, RTV6. Of course, you have to be 18 years old to vote, but teens who will turn 18 between now and the general election can vote in the primary. Another race to watch, says Katie, will be the primary election for the first ever mayor of Fishers. The town will officially become a city in 2015.